So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the competition started. I'd like to announce um, our first participant today, Daniel Riley with Drinkware. So hello everyone, hi judges. Uh, thank you all so much for your time this afternoon. My name is Daniel Riley. This is my lovely wife, Alyssa, down here. And together, we are the founders of Drinkware, where we hope that you elevate your beverage. We have a big problem on our hands. Every year, 8 million metric tons of plastic is dumped into our oceans. That's enough trash to circle the planet over four times. Alone, 150 billion of those little plastic cocktail stirrers are thrown away every year. That equals 75 million pounds of plastic. So we saw a need and we responded. Meet the original hipster. This is Drinkware's flagship product designed to replace its disposable counterparts. Uh, counterparts. Not only are our beautiful metal stirrers more durable and more eco-friendly, but they're also more attractive, fun, and functional. And as you can see, can also be used to differentiate one drink from another. So why is this exciting? The craft beverage industry is exploding. Liquor and spirits has gained a 6% market share in the alcohol industry in the last year. The craft and, and uh, specialty coffee in industry is going gangbusters. The rise of the home bar aficionado and the craft cocktail connoisseur uh, is creating global demand for consumer products like drinkware. So this is just a snapshot of our current demand. Our, our current sales and distribution strategy is e-commerce and direct-to-consumer sales. And just in our first year, we have customers in 46 states as well as the UK, Germany, and China. And what about our competition? As you can see, Drinkware is the only product on the market that meets these criteria. Fully reusable, an elegant choice, a highly ultra-detailed product, and fully customizable metal beverage stirs. So I want to tell you a little bit more about our story, and we feel that that's best done by talking to you about our values. Our first value is sustainability. We want to invest and create products that have multiple benefits. Our counterparts of plastic and wood are, are inefficient and wasteful. Uh, the metal cocktail stirs that we create, again, are more durable, reusable, washable, ultimately a more sustainable, greener, greener and eco-friendly solution. Additionally, we're also committed to sourcing our boxes and packaging locally. Our next value is excellence. I don't have time to talk about all the strategies we use to pursue this value, but it can be affirmed by our five-star Amazon and Etsy ratings. Our next value is giving back. We believe it's important for us to support local initiatives and organizations that align with our core values. Shown here is Extended Hands of Hope. They are a local nonprofit that battles sex trafficking in the Denver metro area. And uh, we are proud to support Extended Hands of Hope by donating custom stirs to this organization that they can use as a fundraising mechanism. Innovation is our next value, and we have to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to product design and market penetration strategies. In a global marketplace where drinkware is growing in popularity, we are a target for imitation, so it is imperative that we stay one step ahead of our competition. And lastly, our most important value is family. Family comes first, and we want to spend time with the people we care about, each other, our son, and we believe that drinkware is a vessel to this opportunity and to provide a future for our family. Let's talk about the numbers. Drinkware has been in business just over a year. In our first year, we've invested around $20,000. We've returned about $15,000, but we expect to break even by next year. And by 2015, we hope to be doing around $100,000 in revenue with one full-time employee. We also plan to house our business and that full-time employee in a brick and mortar store or uh, space right here in Brighton, Colorado. So what's the future hold? Where are we going? What will we do with this money if we win today? So there's some exciting markets that we're going to explore. First off, Organizations are looking for new and innovative ways to engage customers, create social media chatter, and, and uh, exploit trends. So this here is a perfect example. This is our cassette tape stir. It is a signature uh, feature in a signature cocktail at the Occidental Bar, world famous bar. We are also disrupting the wedding favor industry. Our unique and customizable stirs are becoming wedding favors that guests actually want to take home. In fact, we recently did a wedding 
where we learned that the guests of that wedding were fighting for and trying to steal other people's favors. <laughs> Special events. Uh, corporations are also looking for ways to enhance their, their, uh, product, or their uh, party and special event, at, event atmospheres. This here is a great example. This is our robot steward featured in a cocktail at the Mercedes-Benz 2017 E-Class release party in Beijing, China. And lastly, customized design. So our uh, partners at Extended Hands of Hope, we were able to transform their brand and logo into a fully three-dimensional customized stir atop our, or customized design atop our beverage stirs. So you can see here that this really opens up the market for us to exploit a, a brand new, uh, previously untapped market of customizing these as marketing materials for the corporate industry. So now let's see our stirs in action. So, judges, folks, we hope that you drink up with drinkware. Thank you. So, we, uh, we do have some samples for the judges, both our product and packaging, as well as integrated into a little beverage for you. And you're welcome to open these boxes up and see our products. And I'd be happy to field some questions from you uh, with the time we have remaining. I'll go first. Oh, sorry about that. Can you tell me how big your, your actual target market is globally, nationally, or breaking it down to what you see as your target market? Yeah, so from the, the consumer demand home bar connoisseur side, uh, that's probably a market of around you know, 50 to 100 million households. This is a growing emerging market, so it's really hard to pinpoint at this time. Um, also, e-commerce is a growing and emerging market, as we all know. Um, this is kind of our bread and butter revenue stream, but we're also seeing, like we said, fantastic and exciting opportunities in kind of the B2B or corporate uh, branding market. And so for that is really, uh, we're on the cusp, the cusp of that there, and we don't have a lot of data to support um, kind of what that demand is, because this product does not exist. And a follow-up to that, how many of these uh, stir sticks have you produced this year? Uh, produced or sold? Uh, sold, we'll go with sold. Yeah, so in our first year, we sold around 6,000 individual stirs. Uh, not counting another probably 2,000 that we gave away uh, just to help enhance our, our uh, brand awareness. And uh, those stir sticks uh, are now retailing on average from five to eight dollars a piece. And we are investing from around a dollar to a dollar fifty depending on the nature or the design of that stir to have them manufactured and our total cost of goods sold per stir is between two and two dollars and fifty cents. So just a little bit of clarification around the use of ten thousand dollars. So you mentioned yeah. all these opportunities. Uh, would it be to um, manufacture a bunch and have it on stock to be able to sell on online or to to take on a few contracts? Yeah. So um, in order to pursue the custom opportunities, we uh, need cash flow because there is an expense to design and create the molds necessary for those kind of custom uh, corporate market opportunities, whether it's the unique uh, 3D you know, logo atop a stir that represents a corporation, or integrating some sort of other image that um, can be used in the wedding or a corporate event or you know, hospitality industry. So that cost is difficult to um, incorporate into our business model with the current cash flow model we have now that would actually catapult us to be able to take some of these design opportunities to market uh, faster as well as also integrating some new designs that we want to launch but we're just kind of waiting for that cash flow. What's your current inventory level? So right now we have just enough inventory to last us through Christmas and into the first quarter of next year. Uh, most of our inventory is actually housed in a third party warehouse and distribution partner uh, system. And so that's probably around 
2,000 or so stirs, you know, units, but they come packaged together in either four or six, as you, you see in front of you. Um, we probably have just enough to get us through that point in time, and as that revenue comes in, we can then reinvest for 2017, unless, of course, uh, we can get some additional cash infusion. What does your packaging look like for the individual units? Let's say I'm having a wedding, does it come in a box just like yeah. this? Yeah, no, we, we don't actually have packaging for individual units. Those are actually sold bulk to save cost to the, uh, the consumer or our customer. Um, and those would just arrive kind of in a, in a box that we would have QC'd all those individual stirters and maybe wrap them in a protective sheath or something like that. But we don't actually have a one-off package. Okay, thank you so much, Daniel. Awesome. Yeah.